A very good morning viewers. Today in the chemistry lesson of structure of atom for class 9th, we would find out the amount of information that you can derive from a given symbol. For example, the symbol that I am taking here is that of sodium. This symbol would help me to derive a lot of information about this atom. I hope you understand the error. The word should not have been atom. It should have been an ion. The reason why I cannot call it an atom is the presence of this positive charge on sodium. The number written on the left bottom stands for the atomic number. On the left top stands for the mass number. Mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the neutrons as these are the heaviest subatomic particles in an atom. In this case, atomic number is always equal to the number of protons. But this time, I am not going to write it as number of electrons also because we are not talking about an atom but about an ion. Since the protons are 11 and protons plus neutrons is 23. Therefore, the neutrons is equal to 23 minus 11 is equal to 12. So, we are having the information for number of protons and the number of neutrons. The significance of the positive charge is that electrons are less than the protons by 1. Since the protons is equal to 11, electrons is 1 less, that is, it is equal to 10. So you now have the protons, the neutrons and the electrons in a sodium ion. Since you know the number of electrons, you can easily write the electronic configuration. That is, distribution of the electrons in the different shells. 2 in the first, that's its maximum capacity. 8 in the second is the maximum capacity and that's it. You have 10 electrons and these 10 are, you are able to put them into the K and the L shell. Beyond this, you are even in a position to draw an ionic model of atom. While drawing an ionic model, in the ion, you have a nucleus. Nucleus consists of protons, which are 11 in number, and the neutrons, which are 12 in number, in this particular ion. So this becomes your nucleus. The shells around it, where you have to place the electrons, this is the K shell. The second shell is the L shell. Please excuse my circle drawing. The K shell has got two electrons. L shell has got eight electrons. This is your nucleus. That gives you a complete ionic model of sodium ion. Hence, a symbol given to you can help you to find out mass number, atomic number, number of protons. You can calculate the number of neutrons by subtracting the number of protons from the mass number. The number of electrons and protons this time will not be the same because you've got a charge. Since the charge is positive, the number of electrons are less than the number of protons. Protons here were 11, so the electrons are 1 less due to 1 positive charge. The value of electron becomes 10. These 10 electrons are to be arranged in different shells where K shell gets 2 electrons, L shell gets 8 electrons and we have the electronic configuration. To draw an atomic model, you require the nucleus showing the protons and neutrons and the shells showing the electrons residing in them. Thank you.